Hey you guys, how is everyone doing tonight? Um, thanks to Lexi Ham, I posted the other day because I asked like, you know, hey, what's going on with this? Like, I really want, like, I want to, I'm not good words, I shouldn't be doing this. <clears throat> Basically, I'm running low on ideas for what to cook because I don't want to do repeats on here, you know? So I was thinking like, and I posted, what's like the best thing you've ever had kind of thing? And Lexi Ham, a friend of mine on here, told me the best thing she ever had was Brazilian barbecue. So I was like, dude, I've actually had Brazilian barbecue at a couple different, like, um, places. And, oh my God, it is fucking phenomenal. So, let's do this. I looked up a couple of different side items. I'm going to do something called, um, hold on. I want to make sure I say it right. <clears throat> um, arroz caratiero arroz caratiero which is like a wagoneer rice it's actually cooked with um, bacon chorizo, onions and then the whole thing is um, like you add rice to it put some parsley and some bell peppers in at the end and phenomenal looked so good I'm going to roast off some peppers and onions as well I do have my chicken here already marinating. It's just three little chicken thighs. <clears throat> this is, <clears throat> um, what is this? Cilantro, lime, salt, and pepper, and garlic. This is all this is, simplest thing. During my research on this, I found that a lot of Brazilian food is actually really simple ingredients just done really well, like how a lot of things are. And I wanted something that was really easy to for anybody to get. Now, I really wanted to do the picanha, which is uh, the cap, like, it's a cut of meat from the cow, which basically comes from like right here, right above the tail. <clears throat> oh, hey Cindy, hey Matt. But it's really hard to find that in Colombia. So I even went to like the butcher, like the old timey meat market and could not find it. I did get some really fatty chuck roast, and this is currently just chilling out in a bowl. I cut it up into bits. I'm going and looked up several recipes for this, and every single one of them told me the same thing. Salt and pepper and a little bit of oil, like, because they want the flavor of the meat. And I'm into it, <clears throat> especially since I will be making a chimichurri sauce to go with this. I'm going to do... An herby like leftover style polenta with the rest of the um, herbs and stuff I have left over. Over here, prepped. <clears throat> you can't see it, but I have minced garlic, an onion, fresh shredded parmesan, a mixture of cream cheese, butter, mayonnaise, and lemon zest, some diced red up, some diced scallions, cilantro, oregano, and parsley. Like, I've been prepping for the last, like, hour and a half for this fucking meal. So, I've got my oven preheating now. I think I'm going to start the rice, since that generally takes the longest. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put my... Move that away. I've got some bacon here. <clears throat> this is just the ends of the bacon. Like if the bacon's this long, I chop the end off and chop it up a little bit. Just gonna render it down to get the fat out of it. I'm gonna eat my rice. polenta as well. I use quick polenta. Takes no time at all to cook. Are you right inside? You are. It came out of the dishwasher earlier. So, Let me dry that out real quick. <clears throat> I use a quick cook polenta because it cooks fast. Traditional polenta takes a very long time, upwards of like an hour or so to make. The old Italians and stuff actually had um, different Machines they built specifically to stir the plant because the plant has to be stirred constantly or it'll burn. 
But even they're not trying to sit around fucking pot for an hour. It's two, three fourths of a cup. Actually, I'm not going to do a full cup. There we go. Now, to do the polenta, it's one part polenta, four parts liquid. I'm going to do two parts milk and two parts water. But I'm not doing that yet. I just want to get that the hell out of my way. So, this is on a good high heat. Again, I'm just cooking the bacon off. Put it up a little bit higher, actually. <clears throat> then I'm going to put it in the, um, take the bacon out, leave the grease in, put it by diced onions, cook those off for a little bit. Then I'm going to add some chorizo to it, put the bacon back, add the lick, add the um, rice and some water with, now I'm just going to do water. I want these flavors stand on their own today. I don't want to add any chicken stock or anything. You can add stock or something to it. It's not an issue. You, know, you do whatever it is you want to do. <clears throat> Got a pan here for my meat. and skewer these handy i did get skewers with my rotisserie for no good goddamn reason like they don't there's no reason to have a skewer they don't fucking do anything they're, they're, there's nowhere to put them other than just, uh, you can lay it on top and get great results i'm like i can bake that shit too so <clears throat> i am going to put the um, beef in a little bit earlier. It does take longer to cook than the chicken. Oven's at about 400 right now. <clears throat> Which, yeah, there's nothing on these at all. I'm going to spray them or drizzle them with a, I'll spray them a little bit of olive oil before they go in. Just to kind of help move things along a little bit. <clears throat> and because I'm not actually going to be turning these every minute or two like you're supposed to. So I'm going to have to kind of help it. There's no one to be done with a rotisserie. I have a rotisserie, but not one that can support skewers. <clears throat> I contacted the company and they told me, oh, yeah, that's a misprint. We don't actually support skewers. We don't have skewers. We don't make skewers. We don't make the skewer basket, none of that shit. Just lay it on the top. And I'm like, okay, well, the fuck y'all give me skewers then. <coughs> but, you know, I can make anything work. What I'm known for. <coughs> Four in here, pretty easy. Almost done. Bacon's rendering. <clears throat> as soon as the bacon's done, the bacon comes out and the onions go in. When the onions are almost done, the chorizo goes in. When the chorizo is done, everything goes in and the water gets turned on. And the water and the rice get out. <clears throat> I want to do this like a one pot kind of dish thing just so I can make sure that I get all the flavors and the fine that are going to, that's going to develop off the bottom. <clears throat> I love the fine. Okay. Um, oh, olive oil. Spray, spray, spray. I do have a bottle of olive oil over here that's spray and it's refillable, but it's basil flavored. So once that's gone, I can stop using this. Cool. This is going to be the same pan 
that the chicken goes on. I'm just going to put the chicken on in a bit. Okay. Hey Google, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Okay. As soon as the bacon's beginning to smoke, that way you know it's done. Put that into this little pan right here. Again, I'm careful to leave as much of the fat in as, as I can. This is not a healthy rice. Bacon grease and, um, what is it? Chorizo. So yeah, this, this is not a healthy deal. This is not a healthy meal. I'm not using all that bacon grease. Like, I'm just not. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to pour some of this bacon grease out. There we go. Got about a tablespoon or so in there left. Onions. <clears throat> get that going. Mix everything around really good when you put the onions in there. Just get them all covered in the bacon grease. This is just more flavor. You were done. Okay. You were done. I'm kind of loading my dishwasher as I'm going because, yeah, I spent so fucking long prepping. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead with the bread. Get that ready to go. Bread knife. Loaf of bread from Walmart that was on clearance. I'm going to cut about half of it. Cut straight through. Set the other half aside. Now, cut half a loaf of bread here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it about down to here in a bunch of different sections. Okay? Cut to the bottom, but not through the bottom. You want to cut it as even as you can. I know y'all can't see jack shit right now, and I apologize. But trust and believe, my child, this is for the best. There's so much going on in this kitchen right now. Okay. Now I'll show y'all. Basically like accordion style bread, you know? Real, real easy, real simple. Onions, get them going, stir, stir, stir. <clears throat> get our chorizo. I like this chorizo because it comes in two packs. So I can use this now and the other one later. This is, oh, yeah, okay, pork, good. I bought beef chorizo once because it was like way cheaper and I was like, oh, that's fine. No, the fuck it is not. It is not fine. Do not buy beef chorizo. You don't eat pork, you don't get chorizo. Oh my God. It is not the same flavor. It's not the same texture. It's just bad. Just so bad. Ugh. Right. Onions are getting nice and brown. I'm going to pinch off. Some chorizo, just let it fall in. You can use any kind of sausage with this, but I was like, hey, I have chorizo. Chorizo will go really good in this. So, instead of buying more, looks like it's trying to stick. Like instead of buying even more stuff, why not use the shit I have? Truth has been sitting in the fridge. This is more than likely just a little piece at a time. Things will be off or not because I'm probably just going to destroy the whole thing and mix it all up. Like really, really well. Thank you. 
Uh, I want to get the chorizo cooked. So this is one onion, <coughs> about half a pound of chorizo. The package, the whole package is 14 ounces, so yeah. 200 grams, seven ounces, half pound. What do you want to do? Yeah, this is gonna fall apart. That's fine. It's gonna fall apart. It's all good. Okay. Check my subscription then. Yeah, my computer is being a nasty little fuck. Like, it won't even connect to the internet at this point. Like, I've been trying, and it's just like, haha, no, fuck you. But yeah, I'm gonna break up this Teresa. Yeah, you can keep the extra bacon grease if you want. I don't want to see the point. Teresa has a lot of grease in it too. Or fats, grease, fats, exactly. Same fucking thing. So, <clears throat> I'm actually right now running a bunch of diagnostics and everything on my computer to see if I can get something. I wanted to tell me something. Let that cook for like one more minute. What are you doing? You like you're being an asshole. Turn off, turn off. Exit. Okay. No. Oh, God, that smells so good. Oh. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, it's a little bit. Good. One onion, minced up, put in some bacon grease. <clears throat> Added half a pound of chorizo and cooked until it's nice and mer, mer, mer. One cup of rice. <clears throat> Whenever you add rice to a dish that already has stuff in it, like, make sure that you actually give it a good mix. Give it a good, like, you know, go, 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 go. And let it cook for just a minute. You want the rice to absorb some of that oil and some of that flavor. Because once you add the water, the oil is going to flow to the top. <clears throat> once it gets hot, because that's oil and water separate. If you give it just a minute like this, it really gives it a chance to, to grab some of that flavor. Oh. It flipped up in the air, landed back in the pot. Cool. <clears throat> So, probably one minute. <clears throat> You'll see that everything's nice and all the rice is the same color now. Once it gets pretty much to the point where the same color, you give about 30 more seconds. This is over a medium heat right now. I'm about to add the water. There you go. Bacon back in there. <clears throat> One cup of rice, <clears throat> two cups of water. We're just gonna go the old simple, we're gonna go the old school method with this. I turn red so fast, I love it. <clears throat> Stir, turn the heat back up to boiling. Trying to heat the water up a little bit. Hey Megan. Yeah, good. <clears throat> okay, two cups of water. <clears throat> now we are pretty much done with this until the end when we're actually going to they come to a complete good roaring rolling boil at the end we're going to dop we're going to dice up some roasted red bell peppers and some parsley which i already have diced up at the very end we're going to mix that through there and that dish is done it's on to the bread here's our accordion bread remember to the bottom but not through the bottom i just cut it into little slices so real simple <clears throat> 
turn that down to the lowest possible setting. Mm -hmm. Let me use this. Let me rinse this real quick. <clears throat> Okay, in here, lemon zest, cream cheese, mayonnaise, and butter. I'm adding a good thing of, gar of minced garlic to it. A little more because I love that garlic flavor. Okay, here's some fresh parsley I grated. It's going in here as well. Not all of it, but about half of it. This is about two cups, so. <clears throat> some parsley and some cilantro. This cilantro was not cut earlier. I need to cut the cilantro. Okay. Oh, I'll cut the cilantro. <clears throat> I always forget some. <clears throat> okay. Parsley and cilantro in there. <clears throat> Give this a good stir. Everything all nice and incorporated. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and, of course, some pepper to this. But, <clears throat> yeah. I'm using salted butter, so I don't need a lot of salt. But salt to taste, of course, and pepper. <clears throat> Actually, let me taste it first because <clears throat> Parmesan has a lot of salt in it as well. It's pretty salty cheese. Needs a little bit. And my pepper is hiding over here. <clears throat> and now I'm going to use my offset spatula to put <clears throat> my little fun mixture here in between my layers of bread. Just pull to the side a little bit, push it down right in the center, close it up and smear it around, go on to the next one. Like don't be too stingy with this. There's plenty to go around. I need too much, honestly, but honestly, I usually do because I would rather have too much than not enough. I've ran out of things a couple times in the past <clears throat> and did not get the did not get my desired results. So, yeah. And honestly, this meal isn't really that expensive. <clears throat> um, the peppers you can do like you can obviously skip on those if you want. I like the sweet peppers. Um, the bag is like three bucks from Walmart. I use like seven of them. And it comes with like 20 in a bag. <clears throat> so, you know, that's more of a personal call. Um, you can use any kind of sausage you want or have to make the bagunier rice. You can skip on the bacon. It's anything you really want to do, y'all. The chicken, I'm just using thighs. And again, that marinade is just cilantro, salt, pepper, and garlic and lime. So, real simple stuff. You can skip the beef if you want. <clears throat> you can do it with just veggies. Sure, it'll taste great. And cooking way less time. <laughs> this bread was 75 cents. <clears throat> everything, every, everything I'm touching right now came from Walmart. And I'm using my offset spatula because I bought them and never fucking used them. So... <coughs> Try to make sure they eat. Yeah. 
Even being generous, I have extra. I think that means my chicken needs to go in. I forgot to use that alarm. Stop. <clears throat> I can smell the chicken now. Oh, the beef, sorry. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my God. <clears throat> Basically, just want to make sure the chicken gets cooked all the way through. The beef could go now, in all fairness. I want to make sure this chicken gets cooked all the way through. Hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. <clears throat> okay. Now, that's what I was going to make. <clears throat> I'm going to make chimichurri sauce in my mocajete. Okay, <clears throat> chimichurri sauce, we've got some garlic, oregano, good bit of cilantro, a little bit, some parsley, <clears throat> just for a little bit of a kick I'm adding some of the green onions. And where are you hiding? I saw you the other day. There you are. Red wine vinegar. <clears throat> this is an uncooked sauce. It's going to be primarily for the, um, what's it called? The beef. But, yeah. <clears throat> Red wine vinegar, lots of fresh herbs. This bottle's not trash, but that'll list on my shopping list. And the mocha jete is our pounding. I need lemon. I need lime juice in there too. What are lemon and lime actually? I like doing it in the mocajete because it just kind of has a better vibe to it. It's still kind of chunky and just delicious. A little bit of salt to help draw the water out of the, out of the herbs. Now normally this is where you would add some uh, red pepper flakes, but I do not have any, and the store does not have any. So I'm just going to hit with some cayenne for a little bit of heat. Where's the lime? I had a lime earlier. I had a couple of limes earlier. Yeah, Sorry, we'll do lemon. Oh, where's the other lemon? What the that lemon? Where has that lemon? There it is. Haha, -ha. I zested the lemon early, earlier. Let's do that. <clears throat> Juice that. Can do the whole one. We're gonna hit it with a good bit of olive oil too. Kind of help break. Kind of help break it up a little bit. Pips or seeds. <clears throat> and every single time. Try as I might. A seed always falls in. Come on. Got it. 
Every time. <clears throat> Just kind of rubbing it against the sides at this point. <clears throat> <clears throat> rich, super tangy sauce. <clears throat> this is amazing on literally anything. And as of right now, 100% vegan, keto, blah, 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 fat free, all that fun stuff. But you do add olive oil to it. Not a whole lot, but equal parts acid and oil. That's the way I do it. So. Good. <clears throat> Let's give that a taste. It's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. Mm. Okay. Get some aluminum foil for our bread. <clears throat> hey Google, how long on the timer? You've got 14 minutes and 49 seconds remaining. Plenty of foil. <clears throat> going to wrap up the bread real nice and tight in the foil here. Then it's going to go in the oven, wrapped up. Or, hey Google, set an alarm for 10 minutes. 8.05 p.m. Set. And just FYI, here's a pro tip. If you ever lose your phone, just ask me to find it. Thanks. <clears throat> now we'll go ahead and get started on the polenta. Let's check this rice real quick. Give it a good stir in here. Just because everything is, you know, of course the fat's rising and blah, 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 blah. Let get a good stir. Okay, get this going. Polenta. Remember, four parts water, or four parts liquid, one part polenta. <clears throat> so, I did three-fourths of a cup. So that's a cup and a half of milk. And a cup and a half of water. <clears throat> if you add a little bit less, that's totally fine. It, you can always add more. Can't take it out. Always add more. Can't take it out. Real easy. Yeah, this is super fun. Okay. Uh, that's on there. Let's turn the heat up on those. Put the milk away. And then with that. Oops. <clears throat> over here and get to chopping the rest of the cilantro that I'm going to go ahead and toss in there. If the acidity is a little bit too high for you on the <clears throat> on the chimichurri sauce here, you can always add a little bit of sugar. Sugar helps cut acidity. Um, like I'm talking a pinch at a time kind of thing. If you add like a tablespoon there, you're gonna really have a really sweet sauce. Like a half a teaspoon at the most, I'd recommend. But you know, you're the one cooking, so you do you. <clears throat> That's going in here. garlic in there. Smear that out. <clears throat> right. Three bowls are empty. <laughs> I skipped our peppers and onions in the oven. We'll color on them. Those can come out at the very end. Now the polenta does require a little bit of babysitting because it can try to stick really fast. Essentially, where is it? 
Do I have any up here? No, I don't think I do. Shit. But, yeah, if you have cornmeal, you have polenta. Polenta is just cornmeal that is boiled. But the cornmeal itself is a lot finer. So if you try to do, like, cornmeal that you make cornbread out of, you're not going to have a great day. <clears throat> it's not really going to work. So... And it's going to take about an hour and a half. So. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see if that fixed my computer. <clears throat> More than likely not. But we'll see. Meantime. Got some roasted red peppers here. Just a bar. Hey Trav. I'm going to pull a couple of these out of the jar till I have about half a pepper. The best conversation is sort of a good food. There's a dot. There's some dots in there. Where's the rest of the puppy sentence? <clears throat> they put an ellipses in it. Okay. This is going to need a good bit of salt and pepper, but... <clears throat> Basically, just gonna let it come to a boil. Rice are going. There's a grain on the fork still. Cool. That needs salt. Holy hell, that needs salt. But we're not serving yet. So that's fine. <clears throat> Chop up these bell, these roasted reds. <clears throat> starting to absorb the water or the liquid even faster. the plop 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 <clears throat> it's a little bit of excess moisture you got to cook out i like using one of the rubber spatulas for this or silicone so i can continuously scrape the bottom and make sure nothing's sticking in one spot like that little bit right there is trying to do when it gets to about this consistency if memory serves been a while let's see see how grainy it is these in a minute or so so i'm just stuck here right now <laughs> okay Like, I'm parting it down the center, and it's like Moses in the Red Sea. So, the rice is done. Go ahead and kill that so it doesn't try to burn. Yeah. Like, it's definitely see how thick it's getting. 
Just plop them down like that. Yeah. You're doing good. the parsley through that in just a minute. <clears throat> Go ahead and bring you over here. And for you, the rest of my green onions. <clears throat> the rest of my parmesan. About half of my parsley. And the rest of my cilantro. Give this a good stir. Like I like polenta, but every time I make it, I want to kind of, you know, at least add some fresh herbs to get some flavor into it. it. Doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor. It's more of a texture thing, which I rock is one of the textures I actually enjoy, which I didn't really think I would until I tried it. And it is, Italian. it is definitely an Italian thing, but it goes really well with this. My plant is definitely Italian, but it goes really well with Brazilian food. So. There we go. Rice. Okay. Rice is done. Just going to come up, bring it over to the board, push our peppers into it. Press the parsley on top. That off. Stop. <clears throat> off the heat. So get it some color. Yeah. <clears throat> Shopping list for this was one bunch of parsley, one bunch of cilantro. I did get it at Walmart because the prices are better and you get more. If I buy cilantro or parsley from another store, I get about half the amount I went at Walmart and I usually pay more. So I tend to go there for my herbs. Um, let's see, chicken, beef, lemon, li lemon, lime, like two of each. Um, get back in there. That's when you saw. Holy shit. All the salt. <clears throat> but, yeah, lemon limes, instant polenta, scallions, parmesan, garlic. Because this looks good now. Starting to hold its own. I'm going to fight back when I stir it. That's what I'm looking for. Um, let's see, rice, the red bell, red roasted bell peppers, bacon, chorizo, onion. This is going to be more salt. I can already, I can feel it. I'm just going to check it just to be on the safe side. Just a touch. Just a touch. Not much. <clears throat> and, just for, you know, Shits and giggles. I do have this left of this little bit left of my um, uh, bread mixture. Scrape it out right into my polenta. There's no sense in letting it go to waste. Food costs money. It's not be wasteful. Yeah, the little mini bell peppers are so cute. They're like three bucks for the bag. Uh, they actually keep for keep for like a week or two after you buy them too. I have discovered. So yeah, okay. Do you check the um, bread? At this point, you bring your bread out. Oh. After about ten minutes. I thought it was drifting, but it wasn't, okay. <laughs> Your bread, got another pan. Excuse me, doggy. Your 
pan, unwrap your bread, and put it back in the oven until it's as crispy as you want it to be. You can take it off the foil or not. This is easier to just not do it. Yeah. Now all this we're left to do is just <clears throat> plate up when Joshua gets here. That actually was way faster than I thought it would be. I thought I was going to have like another half an hour of cooking, honestly. I think he just said it's going to be like an hour long show. <clears throat> Have we got any salt to this point? No, we did not. These are... <clears throat> Stop. Final tastes of everything. There's just a little bit of a hint of lemon in that, and I'm loving it because there was lemon zest in the bread. So, yeah, I am loving that. <clears throat> so, yeah, okay. Um, let's check the meat. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Beautifully. Oh yeah. Chicken's cooked through. Beef is of course done. And just salt and pepper. Move it oil. Um, I need a bowl for the chimichurri. Oh, you'll work. I think I'm gonna try this real quick. This is the only bad part about the mocajete, is getting it up and scraping it down like this. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, this is a gift from my friend um, Bruce, Bruce Bright, about, hell, 12 years ago? I think it was a birthday gift. Yeah. Or Christmas, I don't know. It was supposed to be from my ex. He borrowed money from Bruce when we were in Atlanta to buy it for me as a, as a gift. Bruce never fucking got paid back. Bruce knew the second my piece of shit ex asked to borrow the money, he wasn't going to fucking get paid back. So, that is from Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. I still use it to this day, and I do love it. So. <sighs> okay. Let's try a piece of this meat. I want to dip into the chimichurri real quick. Just get that off. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Oh my god. This is so good, y'all. Mmm, God. Joshua, hurry to fuck up and get home. I'm gonna eat without you. <laughs> Damn. Ah. Oh. Wow. Oh. Mm. Love it. But, yeah. Thank y'all very much for coming in. Thanks again, Lexi Ham. I do appreciate it. Um, this was an amazing idea. I'm really happy that you suggested it. If there are any more suggestions or anything, please let me know. I am off tomorrow night. So I can do something else. But yeah, I will post pictures of all this. Like, you know, once it's all said and done. Kind of thing. So, but yeah. This was fucking phenomenal. Thank y'all. I uh, hope to see y'all again soon.